Hi, I'm Dr. Ralph Esposito. I'm the medical consultant for Diagnostic Solutions Laboratory, in particular for Genomic Insight. In these upcoming videos, we will be discussing every single application in Genomic Insight and how each one can be individualized and applied to each one of your clients. For many of you, single nucleotide polymorphisms, or SNPs, is not a new term. However, the implementation of large amounts of SNP data to an individual in front of you might be quite new. What we do with Genomic Insight is we take the best of multi-SNP algorithms, and this is not one individual SNP, but we take multiple SNPs together and see how this can be applied to each individual patient's biochemical individuality. We also utilize network maps so we can see how each SNP is live in each individual's biochemical makeup. And then lastly, we use mega data mashups, which are various databases to allow us to take this data and apply it with evidence-based approaches. The artificial intelligence of Opus 23 Explorer allows us to take in immense amounts of genomic data, mash it with various databases, and provide the practitioner with actionable tools that they can apply to each individual patient in front of them, personalized to their biochemical individuality and their biochemical makeup. Before moving on to the curation process, and that before you provide the patient with a detailed report of their SNPs and actionable therapeutics, you must keep in mind that the curation must fit within the context of the patient. Therefore, going through this process, you must keep in mind the patient's chief concerns, their family history, their medical history, environmental exposures, their medications and supplements that they are currently or may have taken in the past. In other words, many of us have very similar genotypes and that we share similar SNPs and alleles but we all don't express these SNPs similarly in that they don't express themselves or their phenotype is different. And this has a lot to do with other epigenetic and epistatic factors, which we will discuss in future videos. However, if you keep the patient's chief concerns in mind, along with their family history, medical history, and any other exposures, this includes environmental exposures, diet, nutrition, lifestyle, then you can create the most tailored report to the patient, which may provide the most actionable therapeutics and the most potential improved outcomes.